Hey everybody, so we just got some big signing news this morning. The Pittsburgh Penguins have extended defenseman John Marino another six years at $4.4 million per season. This is obviously a big contract, a long-term commitment to John Marino, who had a very, very nice rookie season last year with 26 points in 56 games and a plus 17 rating. He's a 23-year-old right-shot defenseman, looked really, really good for Pittsburgh last season, and I really like John Marino a lot as a player and think he, this this is going to work out long-term well for the Penguins. However, there is some inherent risk here, um, given a, a pl- giving a player such a long-term deal that has only played one season in the NHL. There is a little bit of a risk there. Obviously, you know... You're, if you're the Penguins, you are hoping that he, at 23 years old, is continuing to develop, continuing to get better, and is going to be an absolute steal by the end of this contract. Which, I mean, if you're thinking four or five years down the road when Marino's in his prime, he could be an absolute steal at just $4.4 million per season. So that's why this is kind of a trend we've seen in the NHL over the last few years is they teams are making bets on young guys and hoping that they live up to their potential rather than waiting for them to to have a breakout season and then trying to sign them long term where they're going to obviously have to pay a lot more they're kind of making these bets on these players at a younger age and hoping that once they do reach that potential they're an absolute steal of a contract for those last couple seasons of these long term deals i think you know, we've seen that with a guy like Clayton Keller in, Ar- in Arizona, just to use one example. This is a guy who is given a long-term contract with the hopes of him reaching that potential and by the end of that contract being an absolute steal, whereas there's no guarantee that he does reach that level, though, which is the, the risk here. And when you look at a contract like this for Marino, he has had one NHL season. He had a very good season. And if he continues to progress at the level that he he appears to be and and becomes the player that it looks like he's going to, he's going to be an absolute steal at $4.4 million per season. You're going to have a top four defenseman, maybe even a top pair defenseman at a very, very good uh, rate for at, at that cap hit. The risk here for the Pittsburgh Penguins is what if he turns into an Olimata? If you remember, Ole Mata came up with Pittsburgh and was very, very good at the beginning of his career. Then he started to have injury problems. Then his play declined. He didn't develop the way that he should have because he was missing so much time. And Ole Mata ended up getting shipped out to Chicago. And now Chicago shipped him to L.A. And Ole Mata is now fighting just to stay in the NHL. And his career went up very quickly and then fell off a cliff. And that's the, that's the the risk with a six year deal for a guy who has only played one season in the league. Now I don't think that that's going to happen with John Marino. Like I said, I like him a lot. He looks like a really good young right shot defenseman. But there's an inherent risk here giving him this kind of contract after just one season. There's a chance that he's a one-hit wonder, or there's a chance that he rockets up in the first couple seasons, and then maybe he has a bad injury, or maybe, um, for whatever reason, his play just declines. And then if he falls down off a cliff, you are locked into this contract for another you know, four or five years with a guy that is not performing up to that level. So while I don't think that that's going to happen, there is some inherent risk here with, the, with this deal that the Penguins have made. But like I said, this has become a trend around the NHL where you try and get ahead of the curve with the player and lock him into a long-term deal before he breaks out and reaches his full potential so you can get get them at a lower cap hit and then hope that when they do reach that potential, they're an absolute steal of a contract. Obviously, the only risk there is them not reaching that potential and then you're locked into a long-term deal with a guy who's not worth it. But In the case of John Marino, I really think he is going to live up to this deal. I think he's going to be a really important piece of the Penguins' defense core going forward. I loved what I saw from him last year, and I think he 
is going to, you know, really, really get better over the next two seasons to the point where he breaks out into um, being a guy that that is looked at as a top four defenseman. Uh, he already is a top four defenseman, a guy that's looked at as a high level top four defenseman, a guy who could potentially be a top pair defenseman and a guy that uh, really it ends up being a steal of a contract at four point four million. So I'm rooting for him. I really like what I've seen from him. I think this is going to be a good deal for the Penguins. Um, you know, obviously, I've talked about the risk and what could potentially happen. I hope he his career doesn't go the same path as Oli Mata's. I hope it's just a, a really good NHL career for him and someone who, who really just keeps getting better and developing and, and becomes a top-tier defenseman for the Penguins because I really think he has the potential to, and I really like what I've seen from him so far. So Pittsburgh locks up John Marino, six-year extension at $4.4 million per season. Looks like a really good deal now. We'll see uh, how it works out long-term, but I'm liking the chances of this one. I really like what I've seen from Marino. And uh, 23 years old, right shot defenseman. Those do not grow on trees, especially good ones. So this seems like a really smart move for the Pittsburgh Penguins. But with that, like, comment, share, subscribe, follow on social me media. All those links are down in the description. If you'd like to further support the channel, the links to our Patreon merchandise store and donation link are down in the description as well. Keep spreading the word about this channel. Let's keep this thing growing. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll talk to you guys soon.